Welcome back, grab a seat. We're gonna do another Valentine's Day look, this time Odin's Eye. They released another collaboration, Legendary Diversa 2, again with Tina the Fancy Face, Judy, and Annette. It launches on Valentine's Day as you're watching this. That is either today or yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I thought, why not do a little throwback here and pull out my Angeshka palette and my palette from Batty Bean, the Planet Spirit palette. There are some really pretty pinks and oranges in here that I want to use. The Hella palette from Angeshka has all of these pretty little pinks, but I also want to use this yellow shade. I want to incorporate yellow into my pink Valentine's Day look because I feel like that would be so beautiful. I'm going to start with Batty Bean's Planet Spirit and I'm going to take the shade Rescue, this hot pink. I'm gonna pick that up on a Singe E03. I'm gonna tap off though because it's really pigmented. And I'm going to work that into my crease. I'm gonna work on placing all of my shadows before I go in and blend them all out. I'm gonna to switch to a, a clean Singe 05 brush, pick up that same shade. I'm gonna place that along my lower lash line. switch to a rougher 01 brush. I'm gonna pick up this very beautiful orange shade here called Habitat. I'm gonna place that all along my outside corner there and pack it in really good and then blend it out after I've got the depth I want from it. I think orange is really beautiful and makes a very gorgeous look for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna take a clean 01 brush. I'm gonna pick up that same shade on the tip of the brush here, and I'm going to press that into my lash line. I'm gonna go back into that original 03 brush. I'm gonna start gently buffing along these edges. I'm not gonna pick up anything additional. I just wanna buff the edges out a bit. I'm gonna go into the Hella palette from Injushka. I'm gonna pick up the shade Hella. And very carefully, with that same brush, just kinda gently sweep along the outer edges. It'll help diffuse this a little bit more and I'm just going to flick it this way some. I'm gonna bring that all the way up into my brow bone. I want a very beautiful, dramatic look. And any color that gets lost in the blending, I'm gonna bring that back by going back and forth and reapplying that shade. Once I get into that shade Habitat with my rougher brush, just to kind of bring that shade back a bit in this outer corner. And then one more time into the shade Rescue. 
I'm gonna bring back that original shade we started with. And I am very lightly gonna be blending around those edges one last time. Now for some depth to the outer corner, I'm gonna take my Send to Zero One brush and pick up the shade Soot. And I'm just going to gently pack this in. I'm going to take a tiny Refer 03 brush, pick up that same shade, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And just kind of meet it where I blended it. I'm only going to take it about a third of the way in. More like a half of the way in, I think. I'm gonna take a clean puff and I am going to just bring that and clean up that lower lash line. Before I go into a shimmer shadow, I'm gonna pick up the shade Rebirth out of the Hella palette. This is the one I feel like is just going to tie it all together before any shimmer. It's just a beautiful yellow shade. Oh, it's so soft. It's looking crazy, but I promise it's gonna come together. Let me just take a clean 13 from Ruffer, pick up just a touch more of that shade and just gently diffuse it. I think I wanna take the two shades, Animalia and Fauna, and I wanna put those on my lid. That's what I want to do. So indecisive. I'm gonna take a Ruffer 02. I'm gonna pick up this shade, Animalia, on the side of the brush and really pack it in there for the most intense payoff. I want to spray that though because I don't want that on my face. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Fauna on a clean Refer 28 brush. No, I actually think I'm just gonna use my finger. I lied. I'm just gonna pick that up here and just kinda top it over that beautiful yellow and hot orangey pink shade. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. The yellow brings out the gold in this, the shiftiness. And I could not be happier. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm just gonna press. And then gently swipe as I press. A lot more like that. That is perfect. Now I'm gonna take one last thing. I'm going to take my beloved Fenty Diamond Balm in the shade Rose Rave. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did in my last video. And just get it all over my finger. 
I mean, you can't see a whole lot on my finger in the camera, but once I get it on my eye, that is when this thing just truly transforms. And you definitely don't have to do this at all. This is just something I love doing. That is perfect. I'm gonna do this over here. My eyes are finished. I have some serious drainage right here on this eye. I don't know if it's the glue or if it's the eyeliner from ColourPop. This is in the yellow shade called Crisso. This thing just kept breaking. I just, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end up having to clean that up because it is going all over my cheek. I'm gonna switch to bronzer now. I'm gonna pick up my Pat McGrath Labs. This one is in the shade Nude Honey. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I'm gonna use that on the Sephora 50 brush. I'm gonna use my Surratt blush in the shade Cantaloupe, this gorgeous orange. I wasn't recording, so I have to do this again. But this is my Sigma Kristen Dominique brush. The formula is heavenly, absolutely heavenly. The Surratt line for complexion products, cheeks, Blushes, bronzers, I bought these blushes because I love the bronzer so much. I'm also gonna pick up my Giorgio Armani. This is the number 50. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm gonna pick it up in the shade Ethereal Light. This one is quite a bit lighter than the other one that I used called this diffused light. This one is a lot better for my skin tone right now in the winter. Much more brightening, should help with this under eye a bit too. I'm gonna use my About Face lip liner in the shade Love Like a Sunset. This is the Coral Kiss lipstick from Jimmy Choo. I got this last month when I went to Nordstrom. This was the very last one they had in stock at my Nordstrom, the very last. And I'm so glad I got it because this shade is heaven. Mm, it's just such a fiery orange one and speaks for itself. One final thing that I had completely forgotten is my Pat McGrath highlighter. This is the Divine Rose highlighter, her best one that she ever launched, everybody knows. I honestly think these two palettes together are perfect and the only reason I even chose to do this is because Odin's Eye is launching another Legendary Diversa collection. And as an ode to that, I wanted to play with them because the Hella palette was my favorite that ever launched from Odin's Eye. And this one just felt like a beautiful companion for it. And I just feel like I'm so fierce and fiery. I enjoy it so much, especially with my little cherry earrings. These two palettes are limited edition and sold out. You can no longer get them anymore. They are out of stock, but everything else on my face, if it is not out of stock, will be listed down below. I do earn a small commission on them if you choose to click on my link. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.